The view is absolutely incredible. I really hope I don't rock my camera. For my 18th birthday, my father took me to a military school. This may be seen as a cruel setting for a birthday party. With either Trump or Hillary as our next president, someone has to defend and protect our country. Warning, if you're an easily offended atheist, please stop watching the rest of this video and continue with your plans to kill Christmas. Ready? The cathedral was ginormous. As someone who was raised by Jews, the place intimidated me. The presence of Jesus flooded the room. It was like diving into an ocean of holy water. As we left the premise and headed out to our next destination, I felt changed by this religious experience. With God on my side, there was no way that this trip could possibly suck. This is a body of water. Is a fun fact, actually, um, Finding Nemo was filmed right in that ocean right there. This is a stadium, concert area. The cadets are bored at all. They can get the Wiggles or the Beatles to come and play for them, so that's exciting. Even with the promise of a crime scene from the yellow tape, there was nothing exciting. I then began to realize what I was dragged into. All this tour was, was a look around a school's campus. And the only reason why people found it interesting was, I don't know, George Washington and his wig-headed friends went there for like five minutes. Well, that doesn't make for an exciting tour. It's like going to Bill Cosby's secret underground sex dungeon and only being happy because a celebrity once stepped foot in the same place that you're in now. We were about to continue with our yawn-inducing tour, but a truck blocked our way. The fact that the tour couldn't continue traumatized my brother, but I was very much okay. And just like that, the tour was over. Our next adventure was awaiting us in the nearby museum. You see, Justin, this elevator is a very important part of American history. FDR was able to use this elevator Obviously. back in the 1940s or whatever. Very interesting, right? Yep. This is the very first American cosplay at the 1776 Constitution Con. Very historical. West Point School. Obama approved. American Wars Gallery, let's celebrate slaughtering. This man lost his eyes in battle. Notice the lack of smile. The museum had some cool weapons and trinkets that of course you couldn't touch. At most, this place is eye candy to a Revolutionary War veteran. To everyone else in their right mind, go watch the newest Marvel movie or something.